So hey guys, welcome back to my channel for tutorials. So guys, today I'll teach you how to create new and cool motion graphic text animation with using Cinema 4D. Guys, I'm using Cinema 4D 2024 version. So guys, firstly, I show you my final render preview. Okay, so guys, now go to on here. So first of all, guys, I'm going to take a text tool, this one, and type your letter. So guys, type like a end letter, like I type Q and closer. So guys, I change font and also alignment. So font, I like uh, bold and thick. So guys, this time Arial Black is fit for my work and increase depth. Depth, I like 50, yes. So go to on here, display shall I got shading lines. And now guys subdivision increase I like 20 yes and see guys that's my intermediate points I like subdivide it yeah so go to on cap and guys I change this time shape so guys go to on here regular grid check and change size guys size I like 2 yeah and guys next one create smoothness so guys for smoothness size I like 2 centimeter yes perfect see guys that's my simple text and next one guys this time I apply poly effects tool, this one, poly effects. So guys select this poly effects and make child with text, yeah. So guys select this poly effects and go to on here more graph and I apply firstly plane effector tool, this one, yes, good, see. Okay, so now guys go to on here parameter and change position, this one, guys randomly change like a 50 is good, 50 and y1 is good and z1 increase like a 50 i like 50 yeah so guys go to on here scale scale check and ununiform scale check and guys scale size minus one yeah great okay so guys next one again select this poly effects and this time guys i like random effector tool random check okay so guys now you can hide this plane yeah see okay, that's my random effector Okay, so guys, now I change position. So position, I like a uh, eight is perfect for me. Eight, eight, and all eight centimeter. Yes, and go to on here rotation check and rotation randomly change like this. Yeah, good. See, guys, that's my simple shape, right? Okay, so guys, also change scale size. This is my scale size, and guys, see that's my scale x, y, z, and randomly change like this yes good see that's my randomly scaling okay so now next one guys go to on here select this random and field so guys i apply this time spherical field check yeah and guys i change scale size so scale size decrease i like a 15 centimeter is good 15 and go to on here guys front view panel so i change position so guys spherical field position change like this yeah and go to on here mate yes so guys next step go to on perspective view and guys i change some setting on here so guys select this random and field so i like this time here freezing check so guys this time freezing go to on down yeah so guys see that's my layer control and clear and mode i like grow and radius radius i like seven centimeter and fx strength i like five yes so now guys i increase frame like a 350 is good for me and go to one back and play okay see guys that's not animate right it's not animate so stop so guys go to on here spherical field and i like max check so again play yeah see guys that's my really cool dynamic effect right see okay so guys stop so guys now go to on here plane and plane check and go to on back and play okay so also go to on here plane effector and field so guys firstly select this one spherical field drag and drop on here and same guys go to on here freeze freeze check go to on down and spherical field guys i like max and go to on here freeze 
so more i like grow and radius i like 7 cm and effect strength i like 5 okay so guys again clear and play yeah see guys that's my really cool particle animation right okay so guys i change this time position so guys go to on here plane and go to on here see guys that's my x position change okay so guys go to on here x position like a fifth 40 is good 40 yes and z1 go to on here 40 yes perfect and guys again play yeah much better see guys that's my really cool effect right okay so now next one guys you can increase random effector see guys that's my position you can increase depending on your work and again go to back and play yes good much better right okay so now next one guys this time i apply time effector tool so guys go to on here poly effects and this time i like time time check so guys select this time and field so see guys that's my spherical field drag and drop and same freeze and go to on here mode i like grow and radius 7 and strength i like 5 yes okay so guys go to down and spherical field blend mode i like max yeah okay see guys that's my simple effect and again play yeah much better okay also guys i create more smoothness see guys that's my really cool dynamic effect right it's looking really perfect and now guys go to on here select this random effector and freeze guys i change radius like a 10 and strength 10 okay so again play yeah perfect see guys that's my really cool effect okay so guys i change strength like a 5 radius 5 and go to on here so guys effect i like 5 and clear yes okay so guys all is good and lastly guys select this poly effects and go to on here so guys i change this time upper size so guys go to on here random go to on top and time and plane and also so guys now i create more smoothness so go to on here and i like delay factor so go to on spring and strength like a 65 is perfect for me and poly effects so guys go to on here effector see guys firstly i like random effector and time and plane and delay factor check yes okay so guys go to back and play yeah perfect see guys that's my really cool effect particle animation this perfect for me yes great okay so guys my particle animation is good and next one guys i create rotation animation and increase frame like a 400 frames and go to back and play yeah great right it's really simple and advanced tutorial guys for particle animation okay so guys go to back and guys select this text and go to on here so guys i create rotation animation like this so zero and go to on zero frame and rotation i check so guys i like a 350 350 and rotation 360 check yes so guys go to back and play yeah see guys that's my really cool rotation animation right that's my really cool text effect okay so guys all is good and now guys you can create more text is dependent on your work more text so guys stop and frame like a 450 is good and guys now this time i take null object so select all and make child with null so guys rename like a q and duplicate so press ctrl c and v so position change so guys go to on here here like this so mate yeah good and yes perfect right okay so now guys i change text so go to on here object and change text like a a 
and yeah okay so but guys not changing so go to on here and plane so field and see guys that's my freeze and clear check so random freeze clear check and delay okay so guys see that's my time freeze check and same and plane clean random clean and time clean yeah okay and also guys select this one spherical field and change this time position so go to on here and little bit up yeah good and clear check yes random clear check and lastly time clear check yes that's it guys okay so now guys this time my animation is finished and play yes perfect see guys that's my really cool dynamic text animation right it's looking really beautiful see okay so guys my animation is finished and now guys you can apply any type of lighting so but guys i have cinema 4d studio light so merge so guys see that's my cinema 4d studio light select and go to on here select this flow and background and down so guys go to on top view panel see guys that's my overhead softbox go to admit yeah perfect and also guys i apply material so guys load material guys material check but guys i like this time red material on a letter and now guys yellow material on q letter check yes okay so lastly guys go to on here i take render setting standard render and guys output take all frame so save and see guys that's my file format jpeg and go to a desktop and create new folder like this and take any file name like a one so guys go to an anti select best and max level i like two for fast render and go to an air mb occlusion and global illumination check so guys catch i like low okay see guys that's my simple render setting and now guys i take camera okay go to on here camera check set your camera angle like this yeah and little bit back and down okay so guys little bit closer and go to on here yes perfect so guys go to on here chord and all position check and all rotation check so guys go to like a 300 frames and position this is my position and change go to on here like a a letter a and position and rotation check yes that's it guys so go to on back and play see guys that's my final work my particle animation and material is beautiful so guys now i show you my render 